Hey everybody, uh, this is Daisy Princess 2004. Um, you may think that's the number of string tricks I know, but it's actually the year I was born. Um, so, the holidays recently happened. I saw my cousin a lot. Um, and he came to, a, he was coming to a week of winter camp with me. And so I was teaching him string tricks um, in anticipation of this. Uh, and then the next time I saw him before camp, he had looked one up on the internet to teach me. And I was like, how sweet. That's really cool, too. And it's a good one. It's, one of, it's a good, nice representational trick. You can tell what it is, see what it looks like. So I hope you like it. My string... Um, see how long it's maybe about six feet in total so about a three foot loop um, and you don't even start with position one Ugh, I don't even know how I'm gonna show this to you let's see so I got this string and a, you make sure you have a straight loop at first because then you want a single twist uh, so it's X'd in the middle, okay? It cannot be a full, or a, so that's like a single 180 degree twist. If you go the full 360, and I just did that to show you, it looks like that, and it's, it's too far. So, just a single, so I, I'll show you what it looks like on the one hand where I do it. Just, so I take it, flip, there you go. That's just a half loop. And then I take that and I put it on to my wrists. Um, yep, and there's my single twist down there. But, um, okay, the next thing. So I got a string that's, when I hold my hands like this, there's a string that's close to me on my wrist and a string that's farther away from me. Closer to the camera for our viewing audience. So I'm going to take this far other way for string for me. I'm starting on this hand, but you can start with either hand because you're going to do it the same on both. And I pull it towards me and just loop it around once. Boop! And so then I've got a, loop, a double loop on the back of my wrist and the two strings hanging down. So on my other wrist, I'm going to do the same thing. Grab that one that's far from me, close to the camera. Pull it toward me, up, over, loop it around my wrist. Double loop on the back of my wrist. Dee, dee, dee. Okay, but now we also have this bracelet on the front of our wrist. And that's where our next move comes. Because I'm going to take my thumb and my pinky. This is again, it's a symmetrical trick, so you can start either side. And I go. Dee. See that? I came in with my thumb and my pinky and shoved them into that loop. And then I'm going to open them up and bring them back. To where they came from. I'm gonna come over here with so we're gonna do the same thing. Thumb and pinky only. And there's this is the one we just picked up up here. So we're just gonna get the bracelet again. Open. Pull. Alright, alright, now we're almost there. Then we just do pretend like all this stuff isn't on our wrists and we've got position one here. Then you just go like we're doing open and A. And then, you have the drum! Isn't that fun? And I like this one because it can also be participatory. You guys can see like the crosses on the, the X's on the side of a drum, like drums have when they're bound or something like that. Well, it's participatory and when there's another person, I have them beat on the drum and then when they make it for the first time, I beat on their drum. It's fun! The drum. Thanks, Cousin Daniel. Oh, by the way, Cousin Daniel, uh, in his string tricking, kept a string uh, around his neck like so many of us do, and was apparently going like this a lot, and he kept going like this until he rubbed his neck raw, and he got a scab, and I think there was blood, and that was the first string injury that I'd heard of 
I should do a separate video on this public safety warning. Anyway, be careful with your string.